Alright, next step is going to be to glue the carbon fiber in uh, the airplane and go ahead and glue in your, your two servos here. The, um, when you glue your carbon fiber in, again you have the same choices of glue. You could use 3M 4477, use welder glue, uh, foam safe CA. Hot glue uh, definitely will work on the CPP. Works perfectly on this airplane, even for the hinges. You can glue the whole plane together with it. Just if you're in a hot environment like Texas, just be sure not to leave it in the car or someplace really hot because hot glue will get soft on you, begin to warp or separate. So in uh, hot environments, uh, you might want to use something else, but hot glue does work, work perfect. Just be, again, use it sparingly or you can end up with a really heavy airplane if, if you're not careful. So the first step on this is go ahead, the carbon fiber uh, already comes pre-cut. Um, check to make sure there's no burrs on the end um, so it doesn't split or anything on you. There will be one length for each slit so be careful to, to get them all in the right place. For the main wing there are two different lengths. Uh, one's a little bit longer. Again when you look at the slits it will become very obvious that the longer one goes towards the rear of the airplane. The shorter one goes towards the front. The, cart, the slits are already cut for you except through the fuselage. So as you can see the slits are cut but it's going to stop right here at the fuselage. So go ahead and just cut through um, on three locations the horizontal and the two wing parts. Uh, several different methods to do this. The, the easiest I've found is probably just take a exacto knife and just cut right through it. Again it, it's uh, don't have to get too critical so don't, you don't have to waste a lot of time doing this. It's you know, EPP is very easy to work with, so you know, give yourself a little room. You can always come back and glue it if you cut too much. So, as you can see, see the blade coming through the other side. Again, you do not have to get too critical with it. So, after you do that, make sure you put it on the right location. You slide your carbon fiber right through, get it roughly centered. The carbon fiber strips is what I use. Um, again, your slots already come cut. Uh, let me know before you order one, yeah, if you decide you want one, before if you want to use two. Uh, you can always widen them yourself, but uh, personally the strip is super lightweight. Uh, it's very strong when mounted vertically, and the plane's pretty strong already itself, but you know, I like to use these strips. Like I said, they don't weigh anything. They don't cost very much. The main thing to do is watch your, your glue when you use them. Because you can, if you're not careful, you can get a lot of weight with your glue uh, very quickly. So that's it. Like I said, just kind of get those in place. Same for the back here. Same method. Just clean that out. What I like to do is actually just go ahead, get it kind of centered, get it in place, then glue. So, just take your glue. Now it's easier if you start with a smaller piece first so you can kind of get used to the method. So we'll just start with the rudder to give an example. Just take your glue and just run it right down the top of it, of that seam. Then when you're done, it's literally this simple. Just stick your strip right in there. Now the only thing you want to watch when you're done is that it doesn't actually bow your foam too bad. You really want you to keep all your surfaces as flat as possible. So what I like to do is just find some sort of weights when you're done, just to kind of weight each side down, and that way they stay nice and flat. Um, again, it, it is that, that simple and that quick of a method. So you can just go to 
all your surfaces. Do the same thing. Be certain that you have your carbon fiber in the right locations. Now you see the way that this was designed. It actually angles directly to where your control board is going to be mounted later on. So on this particular uh, surface, it's going to be on the other side. But the point is it puts the strength through the entire aileron. Again, just weight that down. Right on moving. And this glue is really not bad to get on your fingers. Um, it dries really quickly, and at a certain point, it'll just kind of peel right off your fingers. So I don't even wear gloves anymore. It's just easier just to get a little bit on your fingers. And uh, so you can see, I kind of wipe down it whenever I'm done. All right. Like I said, it's really easy to practice on these surfaces first. Uh, the glue does give you some time to work. But again, the rudder, eler, elevator, and the ailerons all work where this carbon fiber will go right where the control horn is. So it gives it a lot of strength through the control surface. Yet, it, um, with the EPP on the outside, when you do crash into something, um, it makes the plane really durable, bounces back. So makes it really nice. So you can use anything to weight these. Um, I actually a lot of times just tend to use batteries. If I'm building I can't use the batteries anyway so um, batteries work good. Um, these are just like the stick-on weights for uh, wheels on automobiles. That's pretty much it.